Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's very quick video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize the scroll to top icon in Cadence. So it's really great with Cadence. They have this option built in already that allows you to enable a scroll to top button really easily. Now there are four different icons that you can choose from. So pretty limited. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Icon Monster, some WP code plugin and the Cadence knowledge base to get some code to change this icon. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to our website, we are going to install the WP code insert headers and footer plugin. So let's go to plugins, type in WP code and click enter. We're then going to install and activate this plugin here. So it's the WP code plugin. Now, once we've activated this plugin, we'll see this code snippets on the left hand side. What we're going to do is we're going to click add snippet, then we're going to click on add your custom code. So use snippet there. And then we're going to give this custom code snippet na a name. So let's type in custom scroll to top. We're going to change the code type to PHP snippet. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to change this location to front end only. Then we're going to go to the Cadence knowledge base and based off this blog post they did about changing the theme icon to something custom. We're going to use this code here at the bottom here. So we're going to copy it, come back to our website. We're going to paste it in there and then we're going to click active. Okay, so now basically with this code, what it is doing, it's saying if it's a shopping cart, change it to a specific SVG icon. Now, what we want to do is we want to say if it is one of these specific scroll to top icons, change it to whatever icon we choose from Icon Monster. So just looking at it, these arrows all have their own specific names. So going from left to right, it's arrow up, arrow up two, chevron up, chevron up two. So you obviously have to use the one that you have selected. So I have selected arrow up here. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'm going to come into my coding and I'm going to change this here, this if statement, paste it in there. So if arrow up, then it's going to change it to an SVG farm. What I also want to do is just change this function. So let's change this to change arrow underscore up icon. And then I'm going to paste that in here as well. Okay, so now it's going to change the arrow up icon pasted that in the wrong place. Let's paste that in here. And it's going to change it to this SVG file. Now it's time for me to go to Icon Monster and choose the specific file that I want. So Icon Monster has a, a wide variety of free icons for you to choose from. So in the search box, I'm going to type in arrow up, click enter, and then I'm going to find one that I want to use. So you can scroll through these. I specifically like this one that's on page two. It's a little hand kind of clicking up. So what we're going to do is just agree to the license agreement, click embedded. We're going to copy that, come here, and we're going to paste it in between these quotation marks. Now, there are a couple of things that you do need to add to it to ensure that when you go into the customizer, the size changes and the color changes. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a span around it with the class cadence-svg-icon set. So let's paste that in there and put the span around it. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to add in the accessibility to the SVG file. So let's put it in there. And then the last thing we are going to do is put this fill color. So that's going to make sure that when you go to the customizer, that the full color changes and any of your other color changes. And then the last thing is just this class for your arrow up. We're going to put that in there and then we're going to click save snippet. Okay, so let's go back to the customizer. We can see this is our scroll to top icon. If I click refresh, we can now see our little icon has changed. Now, if we go to the general settings, go to scroll to top, I can then change the icon sizing. I can also come here to the design and I can change the colors of my design. So let's change background and the hover color as well. Okay, and there we go. That is the simple process 
of customizing the scroll to top icon in Cadence. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, share it with anyone who you think might find it valuable, and be sure to check out my other Cadence videos. I've got some really quick tips to customize your website and full tutorial guides which show you how to use WordPress and Cadence to create an amazing website. Thanks again, and I'll see you next week.